Taurus. What's up, Taurians? What's up, Taurus? It's Taurus season. What's up, y'all? What's up, Taurus? How y'all doing, honey? Welcome to the channel. It's your girl, Life of Pinky or Star Mystique Tarot, whichever channel you're watching this on. Hi, welcome. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, hey, babe, what's up? What's up? Welcome back. So we're about to go ahead and get on into it. We're going to do Terrace, Terrace, Taurus Weekly, week ahead from today, April 24th, Sunday, through uh, next Saturday. So let's go ahead and get on into it, honey. I forgot to pull the charms for Aries. So we ain't going to worry about it. We're just going to go on and jump right on into your reading. So Taurus, let's see what is going on with my Taurus. What messages do we have for the Taurus regarding the week ahead, spirit? Which messages do we have for the Taurus regarding the week ahead? They said go ahead and pull the charms. So let's do that since I forgot for Aries. What messages do we have for the Taurus regarding the week ahead? What messages do we have? Give us some charms. Okay, so we got Cancer. So you could be dealing with the Cancer. We have Libra energy, or you could have these placements as well. We have double Capricorn. Double Cap. I feel like somebody double cap and doubling, doubling down on Cap. Capricorn energy. And then we have a key. Someone's trying to unlock something or get the key to something or maybe you get the, maybe you the key to the streets Taurus I don't know let's get two more so we have Sagittarius so you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius placements and then we also have a fairy or this could be interpreted as an angel as well Taurus so I feel like the fairy is like mystical, like unseen, unknown, unbelievable. So I feel like that's you, Taurus. That's your energy, like one of one, mystical, very mystical. Anyway, Spirit, what messages do we have for the Taurus for the week ahead? What's coming towards my Taurus for the week ahead? April 24th, Sunday through next Saturday. What's coming towards my Taurus? What's coming towards the Taurus in the week ahead? What is coming towards the Taurus? What do they need to know? What's coming towards the Taurus in the week ahead? So we got seven of wands. So I see you protecting yourself, protecting your energy, your peace. You got your boundaries uh, set at a certain level. Um, you're very defensive or you're defending yourself. You're defending something that you're doing as well. This could be creatively uh, defending, some, defending something. You're very territorial when it comes to things, person, places, or things, people, places, or things. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, someone here is very hypersexual, but I feel like you're mad. You're sexually frustrate, frustrated. That's what it's given. And we got the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aquarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Libra is your opposite. So, yeah, but I just feel like there's some communication coming in. You're definitely uh, connecting with an Aquarius at this time. <laughs> I don't know if all signs are connecting with an Aquarius, but yeah, you're definitely connecting with an Aquarius at this time. We have the Six of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Twin Flame, Neo, Neon Awakening Twin Flame. Um, so I feel like there could be communication coming in from this Aquarius, or you're going to send out some type of communication towards this Aquarius. I feel like they're very secretive, or you are. This is about having a tough conversation, possibly about moving on or progressing together. Yeah, because someone here plays a lot of mind games. They play a lot of mind games. They're not sure uh, where and how to go. They said put all these down here. They're not sure where and how to go. Mind games, uh, lack of in intimacy, deception. They play to win or they have to win at all costs. Or this is just silence, complete silence between you and this person. I feel like they're breaking the silence now or you're going to break the silence. This could also be your twin flame or this is like some type of twin flame connection or reunion maybe you're going to reunite with this person um this is a divine union um you two have a life purpose to serve together this is about submission and control complete this card is green so it's definitely giving me earth sign energy taurus energy and with the nine of pentacles up under that baby this is abundance wealth the empress your energy showing up taurus libra so yeah this is about abundance and wealth you could be starting a family with this person what else is coming to my coming towards my Taurus in the week ahead? 
king of wands so you can be dealing with a fire sign or you're just stepping into your king of wands energy you're being a leader this is about center stage main character energy honey you could be controlling or you're just focused on um, your work. You're focused. You like things in a certain way that is Taurus energy. You're very strategic um, and you're very thoughtful. You think these things think things through you could take you you take your time so it's like solid you're very practical when it comes to things you're a leader or wise investor as well i get that you're very uh magnetic people are drawn to you just out of nowhere people strike up conversations with you you're very bold and independent as well and then we got the king of swords at the bottom of the deck for what you don't see coming so there could be a king of swords or queen of swords coming towards you taurus um to offer you some type of peace of their mind, I'm getting like, this is someone that's uh, intentional as well, very strategic, a leader. They're very thoughtful. They think things through as well. I feel like you two um, could balance each other out. This is Aquarius energy again. So Aquarius, 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 honey, <coughs> or this fire sign that you're dealing with. Um, I don't know. Or this fire sign that you're dealing with. It could be a Leo. Um, but what I was saying, this person is very ruthless. They come back in. They could have Leo placements as well. They don't necessarily have to be a Leo. But I feel like they're very authoritative. So that you two um, kind of mirror each other. You two like to be in charge. You like to be in control. You're fixed signs. Um, so you like to be in control. You both are very stubborn. Clarify the king of wands. So I feel like this connection, this could be coming towards you at this time. Clarify the King of Wands. Oh my God. I feel like you and this, whoever this person is, y'all are all over the place. Could be dealing with the Gemini. I feel like y'all are all over the place at this time. A bunch of cards just flew out at me. So they have a lot they want to say or you do. You just don't know how to say it or approach the situation. Spirit, clarify the King of Wands. Why is the king of wands here? This person in his car, he's looking over his shoulder. So I feel like you always feel like you have to look over your shoulder with this um, person or with this connection. Yeah, with the moon card here. There's a lot of secrets. Could be um, about this king of wands, about you or about the person that you're connecting to. There's a lot of confusion as well. There's some hidden truth here. Someone's not telling the complete truth. They're giving you like half-ass truths. Um... And there's some deception or maybe you're just fearful because this is what you experienced in the past. They're also very mysterious. I get that you're not um, in tune or up to date with what they're currently doing with the two of wands, though. You definitely um, want to expand or you're waiting for something to expand with this person, waiting for some type of invitation or something for them to come towards you, I feel like. Um, this is about a partnership as well. Moving forward, decision, options, progression, travel, discovery, and planning. So I feel like you're going to discover something um, about these uh, secrets. Could be dealing with the Pisces. There's some confusion here, though. Trust your intuition, Taurus, is very strong. What's the outcome for the Taurus? What is the outcome for the week ahead? What's the outcome for the Taurus for the week ahead? What is the outcome? I feel like you could be connecting with this person telepathically like in your dreams or this person comes to you in your dreams or whoever this is or vice versa maybe you're visiting this person in their dreams this is also divine communication so that's why i say um connecting telepathically yeah and the outcome is the star the aquarius your outcome is the aquarius this is a very creative thinker individual they're into spirituality or individuality honey they stand out so you could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius or this is just you and some type of new renewed energy. You're getting everything that you've wished for. This is about your inspiration. But again, Ace of Cups is definitely giving a new romantic interest, maybe in an Aquarius. Um, something about new love, new relationship, new baby, new proposal, new marriages. I don't know, new contracts, new commitments. I just feel like you're hoping that you can um, grow or have this Aquarius in the end when it's all said and done. I feel like their intentions are pure. This could also be about self-love as well. So you're healing yourself, loving yourself. You're hopeful for uh, better outcomes as well. The number 17 or the number 8 could be of significance. Taking action. Um, 
This is about a positive change as well. You're aligned and you're on the right path. Um, and you're using your creativity to manifest. You could be very inspired by something right now. Could be inspired by love is what I'm getting. You're inspired by love. We have the seven of pentacles. Somebody wants to work hard at this connection. Um, they said put those two down. Somebody wants to work hard at this connection or you invested in this connection. There was some type of long-term investment that was placed here or placed upon this connection. And you feel like you... You know, you deserve to have this lasting relationship, this fairy tale ending with this person, this marriage, stability, security. They offer that. They protect your emotions. I feel like continue to work hard towards this connection if this is what you want, Taurus. Um, we're going to jump into the hidden truth to see what the divine feminine or the divine masculine is hiding or what they need to say, what they want to say. Um, but I feel like you're getting frustrated because you want to reach out, but I feel like you're waiting on this person to make the first move. Seven of Pentacles is definitely Taurus energy. Um, I feel like you're just frustrated right now. Or you both are. You both could be mirroring each other. There's some type of pause or possible delay in this connection or something that happened that you didn't see coming but i feel like you two are going to be rewarded in the end the outcome is the star honey and the ten of cups and the ace of cups this is beautiful beautiful this is definitely your twin flame spirit what messages do we have for the taurus what messages do we have for the taurus Look, I want to tell you how I feel. So, yeah, they definitely want to come around or, or come out and tell you how they feel. They're very emotionally. I feel like this Aquarius or it could be any sign. But Aquarius is coming through in the last two readings. So I feel like um, they're very in tune with their emotions right now. They learned some type of spiritual lesson from this connection or when it ended. And now they're ready to reconnect. I feel like it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, like a, ro a romantic connection or reconnection. You could just start off, start back off as friends. This says finding out the truth crushed me. So someone here found out the truth or they found out the truth about something. And I'm starting to understand our connection at the bottom of the deck. I feel like maybe they're starting to understand why things ended or why things had to end. And we also got, I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson again. I feel like they're very grateful for the way things ended because it jolted them or you towards a different direction, a different way. I can't stop thinking about you at the bottom of the deck. So they definitely can't get you off their mind, Taurus, honey. I am stuck on Band-Aid's brand because Band-Aid stick on me. Okay? Period. So they stuck on you or you stuck on them. And I feel like somebody's going to break this silence eventually. I'm not sure if it's going to be you or the person that you're dealing with. But I feel like there's some a break in communication or a, a, a pause in silence from this communication coming in somebody found out the truth about something and it fucked them up what messages of love do we have for the taurus regarding this connection what messages of love do we have regarding this connection for the week ahead what messages of love do we have for the taurus Yeah, different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. Or maybe you didn't in the past. This is definitely past energy. I feel like you didn't share the same um, vision. You weren't on the same page. And that was okay. Lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. So you are in each other's lives to teach each other a spiritual lesson. And someone is grateful for the lesson that they learned. They healed from this. I feel like this is you or both of you. You could both be mirroring each other. This is definitely giving mirroring energy. So... Yeah, both of you learned a spiritual lesson that you were able to heal from and now you're able to emotionally reconnect. Yeah, chemistry. This The attraction you feel is mutual. So yeah, there's mutual attraction here, mutual chemistry, support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. So I feel like you need some type of circle of support around you. Um, maybe this connection is overwhelming to you. I feel like you... you <laughs> You just need to get around or be around friends or maybe you're spending time with friends, spending more time with your friends. I don't know. You could be celebrating. Let's get one more for the Taurus regarding this connection. Unavailable. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. So that's in the outcome. This person is unavailable right now. I feel like they have their boundaries set up or you do. Both of you have boundaries in place and I feel like you two just need to 
focus on yourselves at this time because this person is unable to give you all you deserve right now. I feel like back then maybe they were. Now they're not. Or this is you. Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Taurus? What goddess is coming through for my Taurus? Which goddess is coming through for the Taurus? We got Mami Wata. Naked, the number 30. At the bottom of the deck, we have Ma Mom Lambo, self-sabotage. So I feel like you're in some type of self-sabotaging energy, Taurus. You self-sabotage connections a lot or... Um, you're scared to get close to someone or you're scared to let someone get close to you. There's nothing wrong with that. I just feel like you may be blocking, um, things from yourself. Could be dealing with a water sign. Um, and this is a snake in a water, baby. So I don't know. Goddess of emotional nakedness, diaspora, temple, griots, element, water. Mami Wata and her sisters live in the Ikpoba River in Benin City, Nigeria. But the ancient mermaid goddess is her own global pantheon. Mami Wata influences emotions and gifts her followers with clairvoyance and healing powers. Hide no more. The emotional nakedness you avoid is your superpower, not your shame. Being emotionally naked means being vulnerable enough to be vulnerable enough for the real you to shine through. Vulnerability is a strength, not a weakness. Practice being transparent. Start with the people closest to you. Say, I haven't been showing the whole me, but I am starting today. Have the courage to feel and express your feelings without people pleasing. Speak your truth. Share your story. Cultivate an appreciation for vulnerability in others. Become comfortable with feeling uncomfortable and making others uncomfortable. Goddess declaration. I have the courage to be vulnerable. So the number 30 could be of significance. Maybe you just turned 30. Number 24. Today is the 24th. You could be born on the 24th. Happy birthday. Um, Mom Lambo, Shadow of Self Tabotage, Zulu, Temple, Shadows, Element, Bush, Shadow Monster. Mom Lambo is the brain sucking, snake like, water dwelling Zulu goddess of rivers. Mom Lambo, Shadow Guidance. You are holding yourself apart from your blessings. What ancient pain are you trying to stuff down, numb, ignore, or avoid? What does your self sabotage help you? to avoid embodiment your inner saboteur is clever seductive patterns of behavior block your path and your power distractions addictions cravings and unhealthy habits will not bring you your best your inner bully is the voice telling you you messed up the part of you that is jealous the anger you don't know what to do with your stuck inner procrastinator and your toxic relationship choices step I think that's supposed to say stop. Stop terrorizing yourself with broken promises and of discipline. Instead, choose devotion to your chosen pathways. What inspired action can you take today? Goddess declaration. I have compassion for myself. Period, Taurus. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, honey. And click the notification bell so you won't miss out when I drop these readings, baby. Because we dropping these every Sunday. Over here and over there on Star Mystique Tarot. So if you're not subscribed there, um, I'm thinking about posting um, at least twice a week over there. So definitely do go ahead and subscribe. Either way, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Peace, love, and light. Peace out.